Hey y'all, it's TX Stamp and Sharon. Welcome to my Thursday night uh, live. This is a live um, a video that I'm doing. Um, we're just going to do some stamping and some chatting tonight. Um, if you are watching the replay, I hope that I um, inspire you and I help you in some small way. I'm going to be using a really fun suite called Earthen Textures. Um, I cannot wait to share my cards with y'all in just a moment. I'm going to flip the camera around. Um, I do want to say hello to everyone who has joined me in the chat. Um, yeah, it is, it is super hot here in Texas. And uh, man, <laughs> it's like these studio lights. I was like frying in here. I was like, okay, we're going to go change our clothes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hi, Michelle Townsley. It is actually a sundress. I had to go put on a dress because I was burning up. I was burning up. I had on some capris and I just was burning up. Hi, Debbie Aldridge. She just finished her other class. Um, love that Hawaiian look. Yeah, right. This does look like Hawaii. We got some palm trees. We got some sailboats. Um, I'm giving everybody a hot minute to find us. And I want you to just take a look at these cards and I cannot wait to share with y'all the process that I went through to design these three cards. I am actually going to remake these three cards again and I want you to time me after I get everything set. So don't, don't start timing me now. But once you do my process, I mean, I just had a blast with my process. Um, I do have a, a download that will be available. I'm not going to show you all of it, but I have a download that will be available on my blog post um, after the uh, live is over. Um, and so stay tuned for that information. Um, who said that I look like the Boho Beach? <laughs> Uh, let's see. Where's my mouse? What is going on here? I got to scroll back up. Somebody said that I look like the Boho Beach kit. Um, Cheryl Ann says it's very hot in South Florida. Um, hello, Roxanne from Minnesota. Hi, Susie Thomas. She just recently found me. Uh, she is a fellow demonstrator and she loves my style. Well, I'm so glad you found me. Um, and I do hope that I, um, that I help you in some small way, Susie. Oh, Debbie Aldridge says that I look like the new Boho Beach kit. <laughs> um, I don't have quite the colors on, but you guys know me. I love the beach. So there you go. Y'all, where do you think I got this dress? It is a sundress. Okay. It is very nice, very high quality. Where do you think I got it? Go. Let me see some comments. Um, let's see. Okay. Beverly likes my cards. Mary Yates likes my cards. Okay, so let's just take a look at these. I don't know if you can see the texture, but I embossed all of them using the same embossing folder. Debbie says she thinks of me every time she sees the beach. Oh, y'all are guessing that I got this at Chico's. Mm -hmm. Nope. Y'all keep guessing. You are never going to guess. Ever, 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 ever. Rochelle says Target. So while y'all are guessing, I want to, um, Cindy uh, Efer says, I cannot wait to use this set. Have loved those cards. Okay. So you guys are saying Amazon, Norway. Oh, Michelle Batson. They don't dress like this in Norway, honey. That's too cold. TJ Maxx. Um, oh, Hilo hat hat Hatties in Hawaii. Mm-mm. Cracker Barrel. What? I bought two sundresses at Cracker Barrel. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Okay. So I want to, <laughs> Renee says the thrift store. <laughs> oh, there is. Um, Cindy says she gives up trying to chat. You know, it's really hard to chat and read and listen and all that. So I get it. So that's why I want to say hello to my friend, Michelle Batson. I want to give her a shout out because 
she is going to do the reading and the talking to y'all while I share my crazy process. But you know what? When I share this process with y'all, you may say, um, I think I could do that with any stamp set, any suite, anything. Okay. Uh, Michelle says, only thing I could think of that I would never guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, Mary Yates, I know they had sundresses either, girl, but I went for it. Okay, so here's what I did. I opened up the catalog because the artists have already played with this set way before me. And so I started looking at the different textures and things like that of the different cards, the different layouts. Mine don't look anything like it. But what I did was, let's see, let me just move my cards. I kept this here, okay, kept it on my table, got my stamping paper ready. I took the dies and I took the paper. This is called Earthen, Earthen, wait, 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 don't tell me, Earthen Elegance uh, Designer Series paper. And I die cut all my pieces out, okay? I die cut things in. Um, the designer series paper, boy, that looks dark designer series papers. I did it in just the cardstock. I did it in the different colors of cardstock. Okay. So I just cut everything. Boy, I'm not liking the light here. Let me do this. Let's do that. There we go. Is it just me? Am I having issues with lighting again? Okay. There we go. Um, and so Tammy has gotten some cute things at, at um, Cracker Barrel too. So this is designer series paper. We'll turn that over so you can see. And so I just cut multiple things, okay? And then I still kept this out, but I'm gonna move this out of the way because I need the tabletop. I laid everything out. So it was like a puzzle. And then I embossed my um, layers with the exposed brick 3D embossing folder. Okay. I love this thing. Absolutely love it. Um, yay. Mary Catherine just signed up for the Creative 8 retreat. I got my ink pads ready. I um, have my paper to stamp. Okay. And... Of course, you know, I had already got, here's the die cuts, here's the dies, um, here's the stamp set, got everything ready, okay? And I just started assembling my three cards. So I cut my card bases. These card bases are just the simple ones. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, Kathy says that I left a thank you tag in the catalog. Oh. Bless you. Thank you. How did that jump in there? Oh my gosh, Kathy, I'd have been looking everywhere for that. Whew. Thank you. I'm glad I saw your comment. <laughs> so this is just five and a half by eight and a half. And I scored it at four and a quarter. I did it with um, pretty peacock pebbled, oops, pebbled path, and then just basic wet. Okay. So I have my card bases ready. All right. I embossed just the wet, just basic wet. Can y'all see? Yeah, there you go. Um, Debbie says, that is what I did too to distress the pots. Okay. Um, I will not interfere with TX stamping. <laughs> All right. So I did the what, and then this is actually the designer series paper. Okay. I just cut and I loved this color of this, but when you emboss it, it just looks so pretty. All right. So got all those ready. Then I started stamping. I decided let's just do this quick and easy. Okay. So I did, I did all my stamping. I picked my colors of ink. Okay. Um, in this case, I went with copper clay because that is really one of the colors that's in the paper. Um, pretty peacock and pebbled path. So what I did was I did an assortment. I put all my stamps on four blocks. Okay. Then let's see. I don't think I have. 
I don't remember what I've done anymore. I'm going to use Pebbled Path. And I'm going to ink up my stamps really good because I've got two stamps on there, right? And then we're just going to press that down. And we are, um, hi, Inika, how are you? She is in France right now. So I'm just pressing that down. I like to hold it there, let all that ink get a chance to get into the cardstock. And then we're going to put that over there. We're going to close up Pebbled Path. Nope, we're going to leave it open. I'm going to use, nah. This is the fun part. All I've got so many pieces over here. Um, I think I'm going to use copper clay for this one. And again, we're really inking it good because we are inking up two stamps. Okay. And then I'm going to just, let's see, where do I want to go? I think I'm going to go here. Okay. Hi, Judy Frank. Welcome. Hi, Linda Goebel. Debbie says on the DSP that shows the three colors of brown, I took my blending brush and colored that layer piece. And what it does is amazing. What color did you color it, Debbie? We want to know. Okay, then I'm going to take this one and I think I'm going to go with the uh, pretty peacock. Uh oh. Oh, I didn't get too much. Okay, and then you decide, yeah. Mm. Now your dies, these die cuts can be close together. Let me scoot this up. These can be close together because I'm going to use my dies to cut them out. Ah, oh, you colored it with pretty peacock. Oh, I bet that is pretty. Oh, we might have to do that. And then we have our words. Okay, we have some more words. I do have thank you right here. Um, I'm going to use my paper trimmer to cut that out so it didn't really matter. And then I think I'm going to go ahead and use, I don't think I have any words with copper clay. Just make sure we get all of this inked. Yep, looks good. Uh-oh, now we have a problem. I was doing so good. I honestly, I promise you, I got it all on one piece of paper, but no worries. I'm just going to do this. So basically, um, I just stamped everything at one time. Okay. Now I don't want any of that to make a mess. So I'm going to get my handout. The handout is um, going to be available, like I said, on the blog at 8 p.m. Central. Um, and you'll be able to download this and you'll be able to see my process. So what I did was I took these die cut pieces and I stuck them down with washi tape. See, I got everything on that one page. Um, and then I die cut them all out. If I used any of these little vases, there's a little top and a bottom. I went ahead and put them on my silicone mat and I glued everything together. Um, but I just did assembly work, stamping, stamped, die cut, inspiration. And then I just started putting pieces on um, to come out with my three cards. So fun, so easy. Okay, so. I already went ahead and cut everything out so you guys don't have to watch that part. But these cards are gonna be super quick to put together. Um, I think I'm gonna change it up this time. Oh, I think I'm gonna do white on white. Debbie Aldridge says she was babysitting with the grandkids. Okay, so you decide which ones you wanna do and I'm starting to really get addicted to just white on white. Uh, for my cardstock. Okay. So then we start putting out our pieces. Oh, let's talk about this texture. Can y'all see that? Uh, there we go. You see that texture? Let me show you. Let me show you what does that. This thing right here. It does not cut. Inika, I'm doing well, but I'm extremely hot here in Texas. Somebody left the broiler on. Super hot. So I took this one and I laid it and I ran it through the die cutting machine like that. Okay. Um, 
Debbie says she loves the instruction sheet. Thank you for doing that. You're so welcome. I did figure out if I did this on the on the DSP, you can't see it. So don't don't waste your time. Um, I did do it on. I know I did it on another one. Oh yeah, here. I did it here on these two. Okay, did it sideways. Can y'all see that? I don't know. Let's see. It's really hard to get that color to come through. I don't think my, that looks black. What color does that look like to y'all? That is pretty peacock. It is not looking pretty. It's not very looking peacocky to me. <laughs> Hi, Cindy Nelson. Glad you're here. Oh, I know Debbie is hot in Arizona. 109 there. It was 100 today here. We had a little cool front come through, I guess. Anyway, this is pretty peacock. It does look green. I don't actually, it looks black. I don't know. Anyway, so um, yeah, it's pretty peacock. All of this is pretty peacock. I'll step away and look. But yeah, this little thing just gives it texture. Um, so like rope around um, a vase. Pretty cool. Okay. So then you just start taking the pieces and you go, well, let's see, do I want that? Oh, that's too close. We want this. Ah, oh, we don't want that. We want this vase. Yeah, that pot's pretty. Um, actually, what about the topi? Let's do this. Let's do that vase, this vase. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's just stick this down. Those of y'all who know my trick, when I want to burnish this dark color like this, I put a piece of scrap paper over it. That way um, I don't get that sheen from the um, bone folder. Let's just go ahead and do this one. I think I did the white, but I didn't do the other colors of cardstock. Why does it look green? I don't know. I'm, I'm so confused. What color is that? Taupe. This is what I called it earlier. I was like, it's not taupe. Pebbled path. I'm like, maybe, let's see. Let's move this light in. Let's move this light in. See if that helps. Eh, it still looks the same. Okay. All right. So first we're going to do, first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to adhere our cardstock, our embossed designer series paper to the cardstock. Okay. To the card base. And then I'm going to add some liquid glue because we are using an embossed layer. Okay. And let's just go ahead and do them all right now since we have glue in our hands. And I, I'm going to admit, when I first saw this paper, I didn't like it. I did not like the designer series paper. I was like, I don't know what to do with you, but boy. And I'll tell you the one sheet that I really struggled with was the one with all the different browns that Debbie said she used um, a blending brush on. I was like, oh my, oh no. What do I do with you? I'll show you. Oops. This one, I was like, I, I don't know. I don't know what to do with you. <laughs> um, oh gosh, Renee says that there's a meme that says they're trying to convince Texas that um, 95 is room temperature. Absolutely not. I just, I mean, I closed all the blinds. I mean, I was so hot while ago. I was like, oh, we are dying in here. It looks like icing on a cake. You're right, Kim. But it's the colors. I was like, I don't eat cake that looks like that. <laughs> but then I cut it out with a dye. No way. That's that paper. <gasps> I love that. So give the designer series paper a second look if you had the same thoughts that I did. Okay. So then you just start taking the uh, pieces and you decide what do you want it to look like? Um, I don't know. I think I want to do this one. 
and bring this all down. I need a little bit of color right here. Oh, I like that. Okay. So then you start playing with the next one and you go, oh, wait, I do have this. Hold on. We've got, I've got one stamped and already die cut. Um, yes, the paper is on sale until tomorrow. Good point. Tomorrow is June 30th. That is the last day of the sale. And it's the last day to join my team. Y'all, there's been a bunch of people join my team and I think you should be one of them. The kit that is going on right now, the offer to become a demonstrator is you get to shop for up to $155 and you only pay $99. If you have a wish list, like this suite, I think, what is it, $72? That's half, that's half of the deal. You could get this thing in the kit, you know? So um, uh, <laughs> my grandson is here. Hi, Mimi. <laughs> Um, so I'm just going to add these pieces, these little fronds, and I do need my silicone mat and a sponge. We're going to put a little bit of glue right here. And the, the embossing folder is three. I'll pull it out. It is... Um, 3D, it's a 3D embossing folder and it is the brick, exposed brick. Okay. It is so pretty. Okay. I don't know if y'all can see that like that. Oh, that made it worse. Anyway, it is very cool, very pretty. Um, I'm it's like my new favorite thing. New favorite thing. All right. So now I'm just gonna add a little bit of adhesive here. I'm not worried about putting adhesive on the bottom because it will be covered up by the pot, okay? Um, I think I'm gonna put the pot on with dimensionals. Okay. You're welcome, Roxanne. Reminded you of s'mores. Oh, you're right, that designer series paper does. Okay, so we were talking about the starter kit. You can shop for anything you want. Did y'all know that? And guess what? You do not have to do what I do. You do not have to sit here on YouTube and talk to people. I think some of y'all think that. You don't. You don't. I'll pop this up with just, I want a dimensional like right beside it. And then I'm going to add a little bit of adhesive because I'm going to butt these two up together. So it's just a matter of playing with the ones that you've already got cut out and deciding, what do you want? What do you want? Um, I think we're gonna, nope. Yeah, we might play with that over there. Um, okay, so what else do we need? What else do we need? Do we want this one? I don't know. Um, Cindy says, I attended the first Creative Eight event um, when was that? In uh, the spring? We did one in the spring. I'm just going to come in here like this. I'm just going to add this. And then I'm just going to get some words and I'm going to be done with this card. Uh, yep, I like it right there. I decided that I don't always, always have to have a mat around my, oh, I should have put a dimensional there. We're going to fix that. I don't have to always put a mat around my greeting layer. Who, who came up with that rule? We don't have to. Okay. Ta-da. All right. So I do need a piece of basic white on the inside because that is a dark inside. Um, ah, shoot. We have liquid glue. Don't tell the Creative 8 team how much liquid glue I've used tonight. We have this war going on. The Creative 8 team, half of us loves seal and the other half loves green glue. There we go. So there's one card. All right, let's do it again. And I know that I will have pieces left over. Oh, this is going to be pretty. I will have pieces left over and I'm totally okay with that because then I can make another card. Hmm, kind of like that. And then I want, whoops, I want this. 
and maybe this. I'm just having a good time. Are y'all watching me? <laughs> oh, Cindy, that was a long time ago. Um, oh, I love the simplicity of that. Kate Wright says, a cool way to make an easy mat is to take your sentiment and just gently dip the edges in the ink pad. Yes, you can do that. Or you could uh, use a sponge dauber. I'm really loving the simplicity of this. What do y'all think? This one might need a mat. Um, just looking. I am just looking. No, you know, the hard thing I maybe would be to guess to figure out what to put on, but um, I kind of like, let's see what this looks like. I don't know. I like it. It's simple. You're right, Kate. It is simple. I'm going with this. Let's see what it looks like, guys. This is a beautiful um, die set that I'm so happy that I got and um, and I'm just, whoops, that's a lot. We don't need that much glue. See, this is why I don't use green glue. I sloppy, I'm too sloppy. Okay, and I'll put this here and then, did I want that one? What did I decide, that one or this one? Yeah, this one. Okay, get our dimensionals. I'm, I mean, this white on white just looks so pretty. Elegant. It's elegant. Okay. There we go. Y'all shout out if I, um, <laughs> if I get off camera. Okay. I, I don't know. I kind of like that too. We're just going to, we're playing. We are playing. And that's what's so fun about this, um, sweet is that you can just play with it okay we're gonna put a little bit of adhesive where is my there we go we're gonna put a little bit of adhesive here and then we're gonna add a dimensional on the other side um we agree we don't always need a back for the sentiment yep um renee says she uses a tape runner a lot a lot when I want something to last, I use liquid glue because it dries stronger and holds it. You're right. You're right. But you gotta, you gotta be one of those people who don't make a mess with it. Like me. <laughs> okay. I love that. Just a simple. Thank you. I think that's very elegant. Oh, it's that little piece is sticking out. What do y'all think? Just simple, elegant. Love it. Okay. Let's do our last one. Now we are using, this is the pebbled. So how about this? How about this? What's on the other side? Nope, we want this. Whoops. See, I have liquid glue on my fingers. Just a little bit. Uh, I'm not feeling that. Not feeling that. Um, hmm. Let's see. Um, don't open the lid as much and green glue will be your best friend. Don't open the lid as much. See, I already made a little mess on there. What do you mean? Don't open the, Oh, what? <laughs> what does that mean? Tell me. Okay. <clears throat> let's decide. Let's do, Oh, I know. Let's do this. And this, and I know I have another stamped one. Where's my other stamped ones? Hmm, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, there you go. I like that. So you see what I'm saying? You just start, you just start playing with things. Always know what to say and do. And you just have fun with the set, okay? Your thoughtfulness is much appreciated. I like that there. Sometimes less is more. You're right. 
You think that paper looks better with the short pots? You're saying just the little ones? <clears throat> like these? Yeah, maybe in different colors. Maybe in different colors. Anyway, I think you guys get the gist of what I um, of what I was trying to teach you as far as just the inspiration that I did. I looked at the uh, at the. If you're just now joining me, I looked at the images that were in the catalog that the um, artist had created. Um, because she saw this set before I did. I'm just going to stick everything down with liquid glue. Um, thank you, Cindy. I'm glad you love my process. It was fun. And I, I honestly feel that you could open up the catalog and do the same thing. If you have a stamp set that has dies and you don't quite know where to start, cut them all out, which is this, that's why I did what I did. I didn't know where to start. So I saw just like, well, let's just cut it all out and see what happens. And so when I did that, then I, I created, yep, I like that. I created my, um, my cards and I was like, ah, oh, I love this process. That has never been, I mean, I've cut out dies and stuff before, but not the way I did today or, you know, what I did with these. So I hope that that inspires y'all. Um, Gail says she loves the idea of die cutting them all out one sheet at the time. I too cut out. So she, Gail, you've already been on this. You already had this figured out. Um, and I have cut out dies before, but, um, and kind of laid them out, but not like I did this time. Okay, so I'm thinking this, just looking to see what else. Oh, I know what we need. We need a topper. So we've got this one. I thought I had a taupe one. I do. I do. Let's see. So yeah, I want to show you how these work. You put the little top on the vase. Okay. All right. Let's bring this over here. And, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm just going to add a little, little bit of glue right there. Okay. So yeah, tomorrow is the last day of June. Um, so lots of things ending. Um as far as the sale for designer series paper, you can find you can find a whole bunch of information on my website below the video. If you're new to my channel, I kind of like that. What do you guys think? There we go. All right, we're gonna pop this up with some dimensions. We're gonna be really careful because this liquid glue has not totally set, um, but we're going to add a dimensional to the back of that. Anyway. Um, yeah, this June was June flew by. I don't know about y'all. Oops, that was the wrong way. Oh, I hate it when I do that. Um, yeah, June kind of flew by. Where is it? There it is. And so um, it's it's gonna be July in two days, and uh, July fourth here in the United States is on Tuesday. Let's see if I can save that dimensional. Nope, it's gone. So I will not be doing mystery stamping on Monday. Sorry. Um, but next Thursday night, so basically I wanted to mention on the right side. Okay. Next Thursday night, I'll be back with techniques. All y'all who love my techniques. Okay. So we're going to do that. I don't know. I'm kind of feeling like maybe we do want one of those little ones. What do we think? What do we think? Maybe we just want that vase. Maybe we want that vase and do we have a small plant? Oh, I know we have these sticks. I didn't put my sticks in. There's these stick things. Okay. Where did I get the sponge? The sponge came from where we used to sell it years ago. Stampin' Up! sold them. I wish they would bring them back because they're really cool. So just a round sponge that I use over and over again. Um, and I just cut it into a force and just use it over and over again for my adhesive. Okay. I think, I don't know. This is looking pretty bare here. Maybe I do want, <gasps> who's to say that I can't cut this vase? 
What about, maybe we want to cut the vase. We want it a little bit taller. Haven't played that game. What do we think? And then maybe we could do, I don't have much fronds left, do I? Oh, I forgot to tell y'all, these bend. They're, um, so you can give it more texture. You can't find them anywhere else, Mary Catherine. Ugh. I know. I wish we had them again because they're great for our, our projects. So you can kind of make this more rounded. Can y'all see that? Mary, uh, Margaret, I love this set very, very much too. And I'm glad you do too, my friend. That is huge. That is too big. But I, I think I'm just going to leave it. I think we're good. I, I would love something here. What are these things? Hmm. Looks like a little ladder, doesn't it? Anyway, um, I hope that at least, you know, I've given you guys the process, the learning part of how I came up with my cards, which these are my cards. Let's bring them back in, bring them on the camera. Those are my cards. And then the ones that I just did on the fly with y'all, I think this is my favorite right now. Um, but yeah, you can just have fun with this um, suite. And like I said, um, doing it the way I did, that's on the free download, that's, you know, what time is it? Oh, you guys, you got like 20 minutes. You can hop over on the blog. Um, I'll show you what the blog is right Um there. So you can go over to, um, we don't want that, whatever my computer was just trying to do. You can go to the blog post at 8 p.m. Central and be able to download this and you will get these um, cards in that download. And so, yeah, I hope that this inspired y'all. Let's turn that off. <laughs> there we go. Got rid of that. Um, so, yeah, if you have this set, I hope you're inspired. I didn't use designer series paper on all of them. I stamped or I used cardstock. It's so versatile. And so for those of you who do have it and you've kind of looked at that paper like I did, pull it out, use the dies, cut that designer series paper. Um, so yeah. Oh, Mary, uh, let's see. You said that you used to find those sponges everywhere, but not now. Are we having a shortage of sponges since COVID? Maybe. Um, so yeah, you guys like my cards. Thank you. Hi, Sandy Dolan. Sorry that you missed me just as I'm getting ready to hop off, but you can always watch the replay. Those of you who are watching the replay, um, please leave me a comment below. We love reading those and I hope that, um, that you enjoyed this. So, um, everybody in the United States have a great weekend. Happy 4th of July. Um, I'll be back on July 6th at 7 PM central right here on my channel with techniques and you're going to love them. Just saying. Bye y'all.